On the wall in my doorway is a picture of two special people who I have never met. These people are my grandparents. They both live together in a small house in Huntsville, Alabama, with my two uncles, my aunt, and my father. Even though I never met them, I still feel like they're always with me. I feel like they're always with me because they want to see what kind of person their son had created. My grandfather was a soldier, and my grandmother was a stay-at-home mom who worked for real estate. I have the utmost respect for both these people, and I respect them in many different ways. I respect my grandmother because she made the person my father is today, and I respect my grandfather because he fought for our country and probably saved many people's lives. Unfortunately, I never met either one of these great people because they both died from Alzheimer's. Now is the time in 2017 for Alzheimer's and memory to become a national priority. Memory is the faculty in which the mind stores and remembers information. We use memory in our everyday lives, such as you, the audience, listening to my speech. Your brain is working to connect my voice into memories in your mind. Studies have shown that most of the language processing functions are stored in the cerebral cortex. The essential function of cortical language is symbolic representation. Even though language comes in many different forms, all of them is based on symbolic representation. We can store an amazing amount of information. For example, as a child, you can learn 10 or more words a day, and eventually 100,000 or more words in a lifetime. You'll never be able to learn that much information without memory. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia, a general term for memory loss and serious enough to interfere with daily life. It accounts for 60 to 80% of dementia cases. Alzheimer's can make you forget important dates or events, ask for the same information over and over, and increasingly rely on memory aids. But Alzheimer's can progressively get worse. The person with Alzheimer's can think of family members as strangers. But, but Alzheimer's doesn't just disrupt the memory. It can overall change someone's personality. Alzheimer's costs $183 billion, up $11 billion from the prior year. With $183 billion, you could buy Google. By mid-century, Alzheimer's could cost our country up to a trillion dollars. Because of Alzheimer's, my father got into a shocking situation with my grandfather. One cold night in Huntsville, Alabama, my father, who was 45 at the time, was moving my grandfather, who was 71 at the time, into a retirement home because he could not live on his own anymore due to Alzheimer's. Once my father finished packing my grandfather's bags, he went to sleep on the couch. At about 3 a.m., he woke up with a startle to see his father standing right in front of him. His father said, don't ever touch my stuff. My father had no idea what he meant until he realized he was scared about moving it into, a into a retirement home. About 15 minutes later, my, grandf my, about 15 minutes later, my grandfather forced my father outside the house into the bitter cold. Then, my, later, my father realized he was scared about moving into a retirement home. Memory is important. Without it, the present has no meaning. Alzheimer's robs people of their lives because it takes away their ability to treasure their legacy as humans. My grandparents' names were Murray and Carol Key. Even though they lost their memory due to Alzheimer's, today I'm here to honor the memory of the people they were. Thank you.